The equipment shown here is Belkin Man Beam Deflection and it is used for finding the rebound analysis of the flexible pavement. And the probe is shown here and it is placed in between the standard vehicle's rear axle and it must be placed in such a way that it must be right below the contact of the rear tires with the pavement and the probes are adjusted and these screws are used to level the beam on any terrain that is flexible pavement and the screw is used to move the probe that is that is touching the road up and down and the reading shown in the dial gauge is in mm and after noting it down when the vehicle moves forward the change in the deflection is reflected into the dial in the dial gauge and observe here how the probe is placed between the rear axle of the standard vehicle observe the vehicle is moving forward at a distance of 9 meters from this point weight of the loaded truck such that the rear axle is 12 ton and the next point and the vehicle moved 9 meters forward and the same procedure is continued the screw is adjusted until the probe touches the road surface and uh, after that the dial gauge reading is noted down before performing this test preliminary observation of the road stretch just observing the road along the length where the test is going to be carried out and observing the type and extent of crack rut depth undulations potholes and other type of pavement failures pavement condition survey has to be carried out out before before performing the actual deflection measurements based on the observations or the study that is carried out on the existing pavement the surface condition is classified into good fair and poor in case of good the pavement condition rut depth less than 10 mm and if you observe in case of the fair road condition no cracking and a rut depth ranging between 10 mm to 20 mm and in case of poor poor pavement condition rut depth greater than 20 mm this indicates the pavement condition and the present the present day road test is conducted on a good pavement pavement condition survey data includes section of the road and number of traffic lanes traffic intensity annual rainfall sub base material type base course material type surface course material type and their their thicknesses and type of shoulder even depth of water table and drainage condition is included 
coming to belkin meme rebound deflection data it includes climatic condition air temperature annual rainfall whether you are applying the temperature correction or not it is checked at least 15 to 20 observations must be done on the pavement to observe its condition condition in the sense rebound deflection data is to be noted down properly and as the present test is performed only for understanding purpose here you will understand how to note down the data